hey guys if you're in year 11 your exams are approaching very very quickly they are a few months away so here are some tips for you So if you don't have one already, I strongly, strongly recommend that you get a revision timetable sorted out. Find out your exam dates, go and Google that, go and look at the exam board website if your school hasn't given them to you already. Get it all maybe on a massive wall planner or diary or an Excel spreadsheet. Find out how long you have until each of the exams and get yourself a timetable sorted. For each subject, get the specification. Now your teacher might give this to you. Um, for science, I've made you a free version. You just go and download it from my website. Or you might have to delve deep into the exam board's website. But the specification tells you everything that you need to know. You can just use this as like a checklist and just go through and make sure you do everything. You're going to have to be realistic about the amount of time that you can spend on things the amount of stuff you can fit in outside of your revision and the grades that you are expecting to get. So if you have a very, very busy and active social life, that's great, but be really realistic. Your exam grades aren't going to be what they were if you gave up a few things and spent that time studying. I know this sounds mean, I know this sounds harsh, but we only have what are we, February, April, May, February, March, April, May, June, four or five months until this is all over maybe you stop going to play hockey maybe you stop going to play football just for those few months i'm not saying cut everything out but maybe we cut a couple of things out and we spend a little bit more time revising it is still really important that you see your friends that you get exercise that you see people outside of house and outside of school but maybe you don't need to be doing something every single night and for the whole of the weekend you need to practice, 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 practice. There is no way around, in maths and science especially, that you can do well in your exams without practice. To help you with this over my website, over my classroom channel, I've done loads and loads of practice questions for you. Um, you can also get all the past papers, download them all and practice, 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 practice. It is the best way for you to revise, um, work out what you've done wrong and to improve, which is the really, really big thing. We need to improve upon our mock results. Thinking about your mocks, look at them carefully. Don't just look at the grade and go, oh yeah, okay. Look at what you got wrong and work out which bits you need to improve on. Is it your six mark questions? Is it your math skills? Is it um, your knowledge of this subject? And then work with, you know, maybe work with your teacher, get in feedback, work with other people and improve your skills in that area. Mocks aren't just there to give you a grade, they're there to help you improve. You need to work out what are high priority and low priority subjects. So high priority subjects are your core subjects, so maths and English, the ones you'll have to retake if you don't get a good pass. The subjects you want to do at A level, the subjects you want to do at college, and any subject that you're really, really falling behind in and you don't want to really, really fall behind in. And spend more time on these subjects. Your low priority subjects are your non-core subjects that you're not really interested in, you don't want to do at A-level and you just had to take them because you need to make up 10 options. Those are your low priority subjects. It'd be great if you got a good grade in them, but if you don't, then you don't and no one will ever know. And lastly and most importantly, we have five months left. This is can feel like a long time. Please, please, please look after yourself during this time. I'm talking about sleeping, I'm talking about eating, I'm talking about exercising, I'm talking about looking after your mental health. Spending five minutes doing meditation each day is going to have a massive improvement. Spending 15 minutes reading each day has improved to have a massive improvement in your grades. And all of these are gonna be good for looking after yourself. So please, take the time, look after yourself. We still have five months to go. We can do this, okay? We can do this, guys. We just need to remain positive. And let's not freak out too much. We can do this.